Having had previous biochemistry experience in an NHS laboratory, I knew that I wanted to do the STP to further develop my the theoretical and practical skills so that I can be more closely involved in making um, clinical decisions and giving clinical advice that has a more that has a direct influence on patient management and outcome. The opportunity to also complete a fully funded internationally recognised NHS uh, Masters was also very attractive. The STP requires that you have to learn a lot of information whilst also working full time in order to complete your MSc exams and your work-based competencies. This can at times be quite overwhelming due just to the sheer amount of the work and how difficult it is, but there is usually quite good support available from the university and your workplace. Um, during your first year, you have to get your competency signed off by a multitude of different uh, supervisors because you have to do your rotations into different departments. Because they're quite busy, sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle to get them the time in order to get your things signed off, but usually showing an interest in what they're teaching you, as well as having quite a bit of patience, goes a long way. Throughout your time in the STP, you get many opportunities to go to different national conferences um, and basically attend anything else that you're quite interested in. Um, the nature of these will mean that you'll speak to a lot of different professionals and your communication skills do have to be quite well developed in order to do that. Um, this can be a bit of a challenge I think for more reserved individuals but these are all excellent opportunities in order to develop these skills because you'll be using them a lot throughout your career as a clinical scientist. Honestly sometimes it's difficult especially when you're approaching MSc coursework deadlines um, but most of the time you get, a, um, you get a day, a week protected study time and that's usually sufficient time to get the work that you need um, to get done complete to keep your evenings and weekends mostly free. Um, however, sometimes approaching those deadlines it will eat into a little bit of your free time. I cannot stress enough how valuable planning in advance is. So all of the competencies that you need to complete are available on the National School of Healthcare Science curriculum website. Um, having a look at these early in the program will enable you to plan forward. So if you see anything throughout your experience that you can use as evidence, you can remember that, keep the evidence and just submit them. My top tip would be planning in advance. Um, all of the core modules that you have to complete are set by the National School of Healthcare Science and you do have to complete them in order to complete the STP course. Um, that being said, I have had the opportunity to be included in things that are outside the curriculum. So for example, I've been involved in lipid clinics, which has provided the patient contact aspects that I really enjoy. I've also been able to be involved in some research on the cardiac marker troponin that should be published soon. definitely through planning in advance, um, because the more you know about what's going to come up, the sooner that you can plan what things you want to see in your experiences in order to keep that evidence up. Um, a big piece of advice would be you're encouraged to go to a lot of these conferences as well as part of your experience, and I really recommend keeping all of the certificates of attendance to these conferences because you can use them as evidence for a lot of your professional practice competencies.